So in today's Minecraft Star Let's Play, we go back into the nether and I trade with some piglins, getting some pretty rare items. So make sure you watch until the end. Also, if you're watching my videos like this, make sure to turn it this way. Click that subscribe button and the notification bell and go back to watching the video. I'd really appreciate that. And last but not least, let's see if we can reach 1,000 likes in today's episode. And without further ado, check out this random funny video. Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Server Let's Play. Now today, we are going to be going in back into the nether and essentially upgrading all of our armor. There's a reason why, because I have been able to successfully find a ton of netherite and I've been pretty much using the bed trick that everyone has been mentioning by right-clicking and it creates a crazy explosion. And I was luckily enough able to find a lot of netherite. Now, the reason why I'm going up to the fisherman here is essentially he has 10 coal. Now, there's a reason why I'm trading with this villager right now to get as many any emeralds now the whole point of this is because our enchantment room has ourselves a new oh we finished trading okay that's all the trading we could do with this villager all right <laughs> well i think that's enough i think 16 is exactly how many we need now the villager there's a villager currently in the enchantment room all right and he's just having a good old time in there now you guys are probably wondering what type of enchants uh or does he trade with now you guys in the comment sections let me know what type of book you think he sells now when i found this and i saw him just chilling in here i trapped him in here guys okay Check Check it out. So when we go inside, he's just chilling over here. Now, I've done a few little details or changes to this room by essentially adding some more aesthetics in the corners. We have all of our lapis. Oh, I forgot. We have eight more emeralds. Perfect. So we have 24 emeralds. Now, this villager over here has a perfect enchant. So if you guys have it already, make sure in the comment sections to guess what type of enchant trade that he has. Here we go. And he's giving away a mending enchanted book. Okay. This is absolutely like this is exactly what we needed, especially because as you can see, Ed the pick. It's it's just the durability on it is absolutely nowhere to good. So thank you, villager. We're going to go now and fix ourselves our a diamond pickaxe. Now, a lot of you have said you do not need to use an actual diamond pickaxe to fix my current pickaxe. All I have to do is just grab some diamonds. So we're going to go to our chest. We have one anvil here. We just have to put the Ed the pick and put our, uh, what's it called, our diamond. And that costs 16. Wow, that costs... An insane amount. We're gonna add our mending. It costs 33? Okay, I just realized we're gonna have to probably... You know what we're gonna have to do, though? I'm essentially thinking we're probably gonna have to get some more XP. But first, we're gonna go into the nether. And then afterwards, we're gonna go back here and hopefully have enough enchants. If not, I'm gonna do some AFK farming so we can add our mending to the pig act. Alright, so we're back in the nether. And nothing has changed too much besides the fact that you see a little bit of torches kind of going into a certain direction. Now, essentially, these torches... They lead us to a little oh whoa 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 why are you attacking me? What what the okay whoa he flew all the way up top why why is this guy want to why is why does he want to pick a fight? Okay, why do they all want to pick a fight with me right now? <laughs> okay, well, hold on. What's going on? I didn't sign up for this. Okay, how many did we get from that? We got three. I don't know why I got attacked. Look, I honestly don't know, but I feel like I always get attacked in here no matter what I do. But back to what I was saying, there are a few torches that lead us to this little cave. Now, this right here is just completely random, okay? There's nothing specific to this design at all. But as you can see, it says mine, enter. So essentially, we're going to go all the way down here. And now as we get closer, you're going to see another sign that says don't build up lava. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like a lava pool right above us. So I've just warned myself because knowing me, I usually have bad habits of digging up or digging straight down, which is rule number one and two on this world. And then it says there's an arrow to, oh, see, there's the lava. Okay. There's an arrow going this way, essentially leading us to like, I made a strip mine essentially at level 15. And this is where you enter, right? Now I put the beds just like, essentially, if you don't know how it works, I don't have a bed on me right now, but you dig a hole, place a bed, right click, and it explodes. Now you really want to be careful with it because there's a lot of fire from that. Now it says here, exit just in case i forget yeah yeah that's how it works around here so i remember there was nothing here now what i did look how far down this goes okay i was here for hours and hours just kind of like going around and i got pretty lucky i'm not gonna lie you guys can try to guess how many netherite i find now there are reasons why i put these torches and these torches lead us to rooms that have netherite so we're gonna pick ourselves one netherite which is it's really nice to see the fact that we're probably gonna have a decent amount and that means full armor okay i'm excited for that now it also means we have to do a lot of enchants now i'm pretty sure yeah there's oh you freaked me out just a second there do not is he oh you really really 
Really, I, I, I just literally stared at you for one second, and you're just already giving me problems. Oh, great. There's another friend of you guys. There's so many of them here. Oh, my gosh. Enough. Enough. I'll just take this thing. <laughs> We're going to grab this one. I don't think there's anything else above it. <gasps> Wait, there's one more right next to it. Now, usually netherite, uh, I, I guess they spawn in veins of one, two, or three. So, finding three is pretty rare right there. So, we already have three. Now, we're going to keep going, all right? Now, there are any more in this area? I forget. No, yeah, I forget. I got to look for the torches. The torches are an indication that there is netherite in the room. There we go. We have one more over here. And let's grab it. Perfect. Wait, where to go? Where'd it go? Is it stuck up there? Yeah, we need you. <laughs> do not leave us. Also, we're going to be trading with piglins today too, all right? There's something that I forgot to do, which actually is to go grab gold from the kingdom. So after we get our netherite, we're going to go over back to the kingdom, grab some gold. Uh, we have an action-packed episode. All right, where are, the rest, where are the rest of this? It's probably in here, I think. Uh, let's go... Yep, there we go. Two of them. Okay, so this room had two of them, which is not too bad. And then I think, if I'm not mistaken... Yeah, it's only two. Okay, I'll take that. We have already six. Now, keep in mind, back at the kingdom, we do have one more hanging around. All right, so this area is completely done. I forget... Oh, wait, there's more in this room. Completely ran by. Okay, this one has one in this corner. Maybe we'll get lucky and it's like a vein of two, which I'd be surprised. Nope. Okay, like I said, it is pretty rare to find a vein bigger than two. Um, even one is pretty rare. So, I think that's all of them. Is that seven? Or did we not check this? Oh, we definitely didn't check this room either. All right, so this room has to have some... Um, no, it's the next room over. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's lava here. Okay, I don't like that. Let's just grab this real safely. Um, okay, that's only one. Again, like I said, pretty rare. So we have eight, a total of nine so far. And that's all we essentially need. We just need a lot of gold now to make this into netherite brick. Uh, there's another ender. There's two more endermen. Don't look at them. Just don't, don't, don't look at them. <laughs> all right, uh, that's all of them. I'm pretty sure that is all the netherite I could find in this, uh, strip mine area. I'm pretty sure I checked this area out already. Yeah, I did. And then, I'm not sure if I check this area out. Let's just double check just in case I miss something. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure all the spots have been taken care of. All right, did I not check this spot? Did I, did I not? Oh, there's one more. Okay, perfect. Let's see how many there are here. Okay, it's only one. So, we have a total of 10 netherite. Wait, there's another one. I forgot about this one too. All right, that's actually pretty solid. So, we have exactly, uh, where, where'd it go? Did it just disappear on me? Or did I have not? Oh, wait a minute. There's more behind here. Why are we getting so much luck all of a sudden? Like, that's not supposed to be happening. We have 11 total. Okay. So, essentially, back at Kingdom, we have a total of 12 netherite. So, we're going to go back to the Kingdom. We're going to go and actually make these into nether bricks. And then afterwards, we're going to take whatever gold we have left and go and trade with some piglins. If you guys don't know, you can get pretty lucky with some trades. Um, and I'll show you guys in just a bit when we get to that part. All right. So we successfully returned from the nether with only a few endermen trying to fight us. But that's totally okay. Okay. Not a big deal. Now, there's a lot of gold we have in that chest. Okay. So we're going to go head over there and we're going to smelt ourselves some nether bricks okay this is gonna be pretty exciting now where's the gold i think we have yeah 44 so all you have to do is actually smelt these i'm pretty sure okay so once you smelt them they turn into something called uh, i forget exactly what they're called we'll see in just a second so as you can tell they're, they're, they're pretty much turned into netherite scrap and we're gonna need a total of three netherite scrap to make one nether brick now we also have one more where is it there it is Ancient debris. There we go. We'll put that over there. So we're going to wait for those to officially turn into scraps. Now, I don't think we have anything else in here. Oh, wait. Hold on, guys. There's another chest. I completely forgot. We have one more netherite uh, or ancient debris. So let's go ahead. I haven't been calling them uh, ain't netherite brick. Essentially, they will be netherite brick. But right now, they're called ancient debris. And then we have netherite scrap. Now, does this give us XP? Oh, it does. It does give us a decent amount of XP. So, essentially how this works, right? While we wait for the rest of them, you're going to get your netherite scraps, and then you're going to get four gold. And there we go, guys. Our first ever netherite. We officially have ourselves. All right. That is, that's actually pretty crazy. Now, you guys are going to see what exactly we do with all this. Now, we might not have enough. Oh, wait. We do have enough to make one more. So, let's go ahead and make ourselves one more. We might even have enough to do a decent amount. Let's see if we can do... Uh, we need at least one more of them. All right, so all we have left is we are definitely going to have to enchant or put netherite um, 
chest plate and probably leggings for now okay now you have to go to the workstation this is going to keep all your enchants i'll show you guys in a second how that works so we're going to go back here we're going to put our uh our four gold and that is it we only were able to make three netherite bricks i'm going to call them bricks all right i know they're not but that's what i'm going to call them now you guys can tell how difficult it is to find yourself like netherite or uh, ancient debris and then actually smelt them it, it really does take a lot of work so in here we have our workstations uh, excuse me villager we have a few workstations so if you guys don't know in the snapshots now you can actually use the workstations here so we're going to put ourselves our chest plate Plop it in there, and then you're going to take one nether uh, brick, and look at that, guys. Our first ever netherite chest plate. That is crazy. And we're going to take the, the leggings. All right, we'll put the leggings in there. Oh, we don't want to use two of them. Okay, there we go. We have ourselves netherite leggings, and we'll just do the arm uh, the helmet as well, okay? So let's go ahead, put the helmet in there. We're almost full on all netherite. That is crazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on. Oh, my gosh, that looks absolutely crazy. Now, this is essentially the most OP armor you could possibly find in the newest 1.16 or the snapshot, okay? What I want to do is we have 32 gold, okay? We're going to go with this gold into the nether, and we're going to try and find some piglins and trade with them. Now, there's one specific book that I want, um, and it's the Soul Speed book. It's the rarest possible one you can find. So, I'm hoping for the best. There we go. Okay, yeah. So, that only gave us a few more. So, I'm going to toss the rest of those in there. All right, I'm gonna take the flint and steel because some of you guys have been saying if the portal does break It's probably a smart idea to have some flint and steel So we're gonna go back in here I have all the food I need and hopefully we'll be able to trade with some piglins All right, I actually realized one thing. I'm pretty sure we need to actually make some diamond armor So I think even a chest plate is enough for us So we're gonna go ahead and make ourselves not diamond armor, but some golden armor that way the piglins don't attack you now I can't remember exactly if that's correct but if it is then it would actually save me a lot of potential from death so we're gonna go head over i'm pretty sure there's some piglins right over this hill over here okay they're not attacking me right now okay let's go ahead and trade with this guy he seems he's pretty friendly all right let's see what he's gonna toss us now essentially there's like a speed uh like a soul speed um enchanted book what did he just give us? He gave us nether brick. Okay, that's not... Ow! Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, please give us something rare. Now, it, apparently it's really rare. It's almost like a four, like a 0.4% chance of actually receiving like something decent from these piglins. So hopefully there's something decent from him. So far, we haven't been getting... Oh, that's great. Let's just give you some more gold. Here, just take all my money. Please take it all. Let's see. Come on. We need something decent from you. Okay, nope. Let's keep trading. Let's keep trading. You got it. Or else I'm going to go to the other villager or other piglin, my guy. Okay. Ooh. Okay. What was that? That right there was glowstone dust. We can get so much of that. We don't really need that. Okay. Come on. Come on. Something decent. Uh, what did he give us? He gave us fire charge. I, I mean, not bad. I was aghast. Okay. What? No, no, no. We don't need that. We don't need quartz. Come on. Come on. Give us a book. Give us a book. Let's see. So far. Oh, what, what the heck is this? Obsidian. Okay, that's pretty interesting. I guess they can give obsidian. These guys are pretty... How do they trade? That's my question. Ender Pearl, I have plenty of those, okay? What I really need is an enchanted book of soul speed. That would be absolutely amazing. All right, we're going to keep trading until we get to 10 gold with this village, or this pigman. And then I want to go and trade with the other one. I think there's like one more over there. I want to go trade with him and see if there's any better chance. I doubt it. If not, we're going to have to keep looking. Uh, some more obsidian. I don't want obsidian. Please, come on, come on. You got one more. I'm only giving you one more gold. Some string? Are you kidding me? I mean, he did give us 23 string, which is not half bad. Okay, we're going to have to go trade with the other one. <gasps> what were those? Soul Speed 1. Oh, my gosh. So, we got ourselves... Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that. okay. We're going to trade with you again because you just gave me something actually quite decent. So, we just got Soul Speed 1 on these, which is actually quite weird. I believe it's like a 1% chance of actually getting them. So, that is actually quite good. Now, it's actually even more difficult to get the Soul Speed 2. What is this? Splash Potion of Fire Resistance? Okay, these are actually pretty decent trades so far. I'm going to keep trading with him because I'm not going to lie. He's been giving us some decent stuff. What is this? Crying Obsidian. I have no idea what crying obsidian does, but we'll figure it out eventually. There is the last gold, my guy. Hopefully, uh, you know what? You gave me some good, decent trades. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not going to lie. Okay, and some leather. Okay, that was 
the last thing I really needed was some leather. All right, thank you for your trade. I'm just gonna now uh, head out of here. All right, so let's put back on our netherite armor. As you can tell, we, d we do have to fix our armor a little bit, but... This looks absolutely amazing. Now, you guys all know there is a bug. Like, I don't know why my armor doesn't look enchanted, although it is enchanted. And trust me, netherite armor does look really cool when it's enchanted. I just don't know why it's not doing that right now. Is we're going to go get a ton of XP from our farm over here, from the skeleton farm. And then we're going to get that mending book. Oh, there's a creeper. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Why did I just put you know what lesson number one don't put an ender pearl next to a bow and arrow All right, it didn't cause too much damage if it blew up this place right here I I would have quit this game. I would have literally quit the game All right, we're gonna continue to carry on to go down to our skeleton spawner get ourselves some XP And then we're gonna get ourselves mending Alrighty, So I have officially 34 XP It took me quite some time and the inventory I have to actually add a few more chests down in the skeleton area But now we do have enough for mending to put on ed the pick so we're gonna go head over to the uh anvil here where is our book okay there it is mending and it costs 33 levels it's excruciating because it took me so long to get 33 and now they're just gonna go away in just a matter of a click so we're just we have to do it we have to do it so there we go we officially have mending which is fantastic because you know as we continue getting xp and mining with this it's going to self fix it's gonna self repair which is exactly what we need and hopefully in the long run it's gonna cost us less to fix tools but realistically that might not be the case but today we had an absolutely insane episode i mean absolutely crazy we still have netherite scrap um we just have so much stuff like look at all this we have fire charge this is our, our i'm actually gonna replace that right now so this right here is soul speed one it's actually one of the more rare items to get from a piglin and then we have all the other stuff here we got glowstone dust we have magma cream we have crying obsidian which i have no idea what that does yet fire charge and um just all these other stuff which is quite crazy guys so if you guys enjoyed today's episode make sure you go ahead and click that like button honestly in the next episode we're gonna do a lot more crazy things so make sure you stay tuned if you're new make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and without further ado guys my name is alex and peace out and stay foxy